Hi everyone, hope you're well. I've been away for the past week. I've been down in the West Country. Here's a photo here I took of Glastonbury Tor. Um, so Glastonbury, I've put up another video of the view from the Tor. It's a very um, powerful, deep healing place, very soothing place to visit. It's, um, it's difficult to analyze and put into words. I think you just go there and absorb and feel what you feel and then just go back to your normal life, um, see what happens in your life and what insights you have in the days and weeks after. It's just a really calming place to be. So very recommended. <clears throat> okay, so where are we with the energies? We're still in this powerful phase between the two Aquarius full moons. The second one is in a week. So we're building towards that now on the 22nd of August. Um, so same advice, really. Keep feeling whatever it is you're feeling and releasing any pain or trauma that's coming up. It will come in waves and just let those waves pass through you. Okay, and the message of Aquarius is justice. So we're seeing a build up towards that in one way or another, either in your own life or hopefully as a collective. Um, and, you know, there are some more and more hints of change just in the news. So I've noticed here um, replacing the pandemic as the top news story. Now we've got different news stories. So they're focusing more on apparent climate change and Afghanistan. Nice to hear the Australian Prime Minister say there will be absolutely no mandatory fees in Australia. I mean, we know these people often lie and backflip, but good to hear him say that. Um, huge protests ongoing in France amazing French people really leading the way with that. I mean, they've been forced into it, but very inspiring. Um, I did look up and there is, I mean, there's time limits on all these restrictions. So I can't remember exactly, but in Ireland and France, which are two of the most restricted countries at the moment, it's around October, November time, these rules on um, like people not being able to dine in, restaurants without, you know, certain documents will be up for review, which is interesting when we come to the cards because they do reflect that. Um, and also the EU health pass, I mean, that won't last past the end of the pandemic, whenever that is, hopefully sooner rather than later. But once it's declared that this pandemic is now an endemic disease that we just carry on with, um, there will be no legal basis for these restrictions. So that does have a date where it's up for review. Um, I did hear someone else say, I can't verify the facts myself, but companies like United Airlines have now retracted their policy of mandatory fee and have gone back to it being voluntary. So all of these hints of change are a step in the right direction. <clears throat> so advice at the moment, don't go into fear. Here's that quote from Shakespeare, The Tempest. Be not afeard. The isle is full of noises. A lot of stuff around us at the moment, it's just noise. That's all it is. It's scary noise. It's worrying noise. It's frustrating. It's confusing. But it's just noise. Um, sometimes we're worrying about things that are never actually going to happen. Now, I do know in some parts of the world it's better than others. There are terrible, unjust restrictions, definitely at the moment in some countries, but they will not last. Um, others may come in in other places, but please remember they are temporary. Stay strong and know that they are temporary. Um, many are being watered down. Keep up the people power because people power is working. But don't do it in anger. Do it in good humour and fun and joy and with a smile on your face and a sense of strength. So be not afeard. Um, what should we be doing as usual? Keeping busy with whatever keeps you busy, work, hobbies, um, going into nature, trust, send love to everyone. Just where you are sitting now, just send out love into the community, family, friends, neighbours, people in the shops, just people around you in the park, 
other people driving on the road, people in waiting rooms, send them love. Get that frequency out there. Benefits you, benefits them, and it's putting out a good energy because love is stronger than anything dark, okay? I feel very positive at the moment about the way things are going um, and that the cause of justice and righteousness is stronger than ever and that it's coming to pass in, a, in our day-to-day -day lives and we will see more of that. The news is still full of doom and gloom, but it's not real. Be discerning, put on your critical thinking hat, um, stay positive, stay in the vibration of love. Um, other thing I wanted to say is, you know, I'm really looking forward to life after this situation and you should be as well. None of our lives will be the same, okay? Um, the trajectory that you were on before, even with the slightest degree of change, will lead to something different. But something I feel is so much better, okay? This time and space we've had, I know we didn't ask for it, I know it wasn't willingly, but it's the situation we're in, will make you reflect on things, make slightly different choices that will lead to a better place and will feel like it's worth it. Please hold on to that. Um, you know, what a learning experience it's been. Okay, so looking at the cards, I was delighted to pull out this first card. These are people drinking, um, partying, enjoying, celebrating, having fun together, dancing. And normally I don't do time frames with cards, but the three on here is telling me three days, three weeks, or three months. I'm feeling like there'll be a huge shift in three months that will allow people to do this more where they've been restricted from mixing and going to certain places and um, you know eating and drinking together, that sort of thing. There may be something in three weeks which is a trigger for that, but this ties in with what I read about restrictions being reviewed in many countries at the end of October, beginning of November. Um, legal review. So um, just looking good. Okay, positive card. Then here we've got the seven of pentacles. Um, what this is saying is, you know, you're nearly there. We're not at the end yet, but pause and congratulate yourself on getting this far so close to the end. Smile, breathe, be proud of yourself. You're going to make it. We're all going to make it. Then we have the star, which is lovely. The star comes after the tower card. And look how here in the picture, um, it's next to the tower on Glastonbury Tor. That's no accident. Um, so the star is after the upheaval and the trauma and the devastation um, of the tower card. The star brings relief. The star brings calmness and soothing and a bright new start so let your own star shine and know that's the energy major arcana that is coming in okay so lovely card to see crystal that i pulled for current energies is the smoky quartz and this is about discernment and trust trust yourself and what you want and what is right for you. If something feels right for you, it is, do it. If something doesn't feel right for you, trust that feeling, it's accurate for you and um, yeah, believe in it, okay? So hold on to that image of the star card, hold on to these positive messages, hang in there everyone. Um, we are about to see shining star. Thanks everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.